Hi guys, it's Anthony Molinaro from O'Brien Real Estate with the third edition of the monthly property news for 2022, where the real estate information, as always, is on the house. Nationally, we posted a 0.6% gain in home prices according to CoreLogic Home Index report, which was released on the 1st of March. Australia has now enjoyed 17 consecutive monthly increases in home prices. Melbourne and Sydney are two of the markets that are continuing to show signs of a slowing market. Sydney falling 0.1% and Melbourne posting no price change after posting similar results in December at minus 0.1% and January at plus 0.2%. Although Melbourne prices remain unchanged, the median house price did in fact fall under the $1 million mark, whereas unit prices increased slightly by approximately $2,000. Now, contrary to Melbourne, regional Victoria is keeping its growth pace posting another 1.2% gain to register 22.3% annual growth. Now, looking at the next slide on rental performance, you'll see that as the consequence of home prices softening and rental price growth holding reasonably firm, that rental yields has stabilised and looks to be trending upwards from here. Rental prices in Melbourne over the course of the year have only increased 4.6% for houses and 5.5% for units, which when you compare to the national average at 9%, it's relatively a flat increase, especially when we compare increases in petrol prices, food, and of course, building products. Regional Victoria's rental return still favours the property investor with a 3.5% rental return. Now with the start of restrictions to finance now in place, and continued talk of interest rate rises, it's worth reflecting on history. For more than 30 years, Australians have largely seen interest rates go only one way. Between January 1990 and November 2020, the RBA cut rates 51 times, taking the cash rate from 17.5% to just 0.1%. However, between June 1968 and June 1989, the average standard variable went from 5.38% to 17%. Our financial well-being is better now than prior to the pandemic. A report published by the Melbourne Institute and in conjunction with the Commonwealth Bank shows high levels of financial well-being is underpinned by healthy household savings. The median savings balance in December 2021 was a massive 42% higher than December 2019. The Victorian Planning Authority has gazetted plans for new housing in Craigieburn West and Shenstone Park in Melbourne's north and in Lilydale Quarry to the Yarra Ranges in Melbourne's east. The move paves the way for more than 15,000 new homes and more than 6,000 new jobs for our growing city. Now that's all for this month. I'm Anthony Molinaro and remember the information provided is of general nature. You should always seek independent legal, financial, taxation or any other advice in relation to your unique circumstances. Thank you for taking the time to watch this month's Market Wrap. And until next month, it's bye for now.